Welcome back to the Urban Farmyard where this city girl goes country. Over the last few weeks I've been doing a lot of decluttering and that's got me thinking about a video that I filmed a few years ago where I decided to employ the KonMari method to my pets. So today we're going to do a throwback Thursday and we're going to take a look at the days gone by when I lived in the city and I had dark hair and I had a whole lot less pets. Let's go take a look. Unless you've been living under a rock, and I certainly hope you haven't, you will have been caught up in the Conmarie storm. Conmarie, for those who have never heard of her, and I really hope you have, is a Japanese organising expert. She rampages through houses, clutching things to her heart and asking them whether they spark joy. If they spark joy, you get to keep them. If they don't, they're discarded. She has not one, but two books that were originally published in Japanese and have since been translated into English, and they have been global bestsellers. The first is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The second is Spark Joy. Now, in these books, Conmarie races from room to room at quite a pace. She goes from bedrooms to kitchens to bathrooms to living rooms, and she goes through a vast array of categories, from clothes to shoes to photographs to books to cutlery to cosmetics and valuables. Each time she insists on you determining whether every item in those categories sparks joy and determines whether they get to stay. There is one big gap we have noticed however. There is no section in either of these books on conmarrying your pets. So after numerous requests we are going to do precisely that with the animals. It is going to give you an opportunity to meet the furry little delinquents that hang out with us and it will give us an opportunity to determine whether they truly spark joy. Let's go and meet them. First up is Winston the Giant. Now Winston here has been curled up with me all day, stealing pens, prancing around on the computer and generally wrecking havoc. Now he may look enormous, and he is, but he is in fact a kitten, albeit he's a Maine Coon kitten and clearly he doesn't want to be held. But let's wrestle him into my arms, we're going to hug him close and we're going to see if he sparks joy. Let's do it. Do you spark joy? Hey Munchkin, Munchkin, do you spark joy? You do. Winston sparks lots of joy. I don't think he's overjoyed at being held, but you know what? I think he's joyful enough that he gets to stay. Hey, do you get to stay, Winston? Good boy, do you get to stay? You do, I love you. Okay, let's go and get someone else. Next up is Winnie Witch. This beautiful little girl is a Scottish Fold and she is the love of my life. Well, one of them. You'll see there's quite a few of them in this house. So let's give her a quick squeeze and see if she sparks joy. Hmm. Well, despite the fact that she now doesn't want to be held, I think she's pretty joyful. Well, she may not be joyful or overjoyed. I certainly am though, and I think we'll probably keep her. Right, next up, who's next? Next up is Otto Woo! This beautiful little creature is Otto and he is a black and silver miniature schnauzer. He is the loveliest, snuggliest little dog you will ever meet. As you can see, Winston's very excited to see that he's been allowed into the bedroom. So let's give him a hug and see if he sparks joy. Hey Munchkin, do you spark joy? You spark lots of joy, hey? Is it a nice cuddle? Do you think you get to stay? I think so too. Shall we keep you? We'll keep you at least another day? Definitely. So there's Otto. He definitely sparks joy, so I think he's going to be able to stay as well. Right, on to the next one. Oh, here we go. Next up we have Harry Dog. Harry is also a miniature schnauzer. He is salt and pepper though. And he is a pretty oversized mini schnauzer. He's verging on standard size. Who knows why? He just is. He's always been big. He is a pretty independent, strong-willed little pup, but I love him to bits. So let's give him a hug and see if he sparks joy. <sighs> Harry, do you spark joy? You do. Even when you don't listen and you run away 
and you refuse to do what I tell you, you still spark joy. Love you, hairy monster. I love you. Yes, I love you too. Do you get to stay? You get to stay. Okay. Who's next? Let's go and take a look. Right, well, we may not be able to introduce you to everyone. Right, well we may not be able to introduce you to everyone because some of the cats are outside and refusing to come in, but we can introduce you to one of the hens. If we let Winston out of the way, this is Gertrude Hen. She is an Arakana who was introduced to Spot HQ a number of years ago. She came to us having had very little contact with humans and really didn't like to be around people and she now spends all her time trying to get into the house and into the office so that she can steal the dog's food. So let's give her a cuddle and see if she sparks joy. Winston, leave. Leave. She definitely sparks joy for Winston. I'm not too sure if he's trying to play with her, love her or taste her. It could be all, all of the above. So Gertrude, do you spark joy? <laughs> You're a very funny little hen. You do spark joy when you run up and down the hallway, don't you? Yes, you do. All right, let's go and put you outside with your family. Hey? Yes. How's that? Good fur balls. And here's another one. This is my beautiful Ophelia hen. Ophelia came to me when she was just a tiny little chick. She came with her mum, her two sisters, and her brother, Roger the Rooster. And she is a white Chinese silky. She is a very quiet little hen. She loves to sit on knees. So we're going to give her a cuddle and see if she sparks joy and decide if she gets to stay. What do you think the result's going to be? And cuddles? Cuddles, don't she? Mmm, Felia. Very pretty. Aren't you? Pretty girl. Pretty girl. I think she sparks joy. She's so gorgeous. She, of all the hens, is the one that everyone always comments on. Well done. And here's another one. I bet you haven't seen a goat in a bedroom before. This is our beautiful Veronique. She was rescued. She was found wandering about a year ago and she came to live at Spot HQ with her brother, brother Bond. Should we give her a hug and see if she sparks joy? This one yells at me when I'm at the front door. Oh, she's going to sit down on the pillows, of course. Um, this one yells at me at the front door when she hears me come home. She'll hear me and she'll go Meh! from the backyard, won't you? Chatty girl, should we give you a hug? Do you spark joy? You sure do. You're a funny little bean. <laughs> You're a funny little bean, hey. She definitely sparks joy. I think we're going to keep her too. All right, there we go. That's enough, Cumbery. As expected, we've hugged maybe half the animals that are here. There's a whole lot more than this, but you know what? They're all outside and they're not hanging out with us right now, so we're going to leave them be. You will get to meet them at another time. If you haven't yet read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, thoroughly recommend it. You definitely go, need to go through and hug your pets, figure out whether they spark joy. Whether or not you're going to get rid of any of them, you're probably not if you're anything like me. I run the policy that once they're here, once they're adopted, they're here for life. I'll see you very soon. Bye.